this is really a first trial for a new technique, so it can seem very crude right now. Some ordinary uh, birchwood charcoal, because it's uh, relatively slow burning and it doesn't give up too much smoky flavor. I don't want this to be like a slowly smoked duck. I just want it to have a little bit of smoke. So this duck dish we're gonna cook now is based on ideas from like several different places. And the base of the dish is a French classical dish called uh, canard à la ficelle, which is basically a duck hung up in a string in an open fireplace somewhere um, and being like tapped on the wing by everyone that passes by. And then the other part of it is Peter's inspiration from traveling in China working and eating the Chinese duck, but with all Peter's produce. So the duck and his birch sap syrup will be the main components of the dish. So I'm going to start with the glaze. The base of it is going to be some of the tasty paste, which is uh, basically beef stock and vegetables fermented with baker's yeast and then reduced until it's very, very savory. So this is uh, Peter's birch sap syrup. It's really different from, for example, maple syrup because it has a lot of acidity. So it's almost like a kind of balsamic vinegar or something like that. And that's because birch sap contains a lot of boreic acid. So when it's reduced down, you have like this really, 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 really nicely balanced sweet and sour flavor. Uh, some rhubarb wine. This is going to give a really nice acidity to the whole preparation. Shallots and some garlic. Just very finely grated. I want the little tiny pieces kind of caramelizing on the surface of the skin. Yep. So I'm just gonna hang the bird. Um, now I'm gonna, like while this is heating up, I'm gonna put this, the sauce, under the bird and just sort of give it the first baste. Like this. The idea is, is that as it cooks, the sauce is going to obviously reduce on the skin, but also there's going to be like meat juices and fat and stuff dripping down into this little pot and eventually become part of the sauce. And this is going to be pretty much all the seasoning of this dish. Just the birch sap syrup and the tasty paste. And it's, a, it's pretty interesting because it's based mainly on products from Peter. All the products that he makes for us, whether it's ducks or really good quality wild mushrooms, or if it's birch sap syrup, or if it's you know dried lichens or whatever it might be, they all have kind of a, a distinct aroma that kind of relates them to each other. You can feel like by how they smell and how they taste that they're from him. Uh, so it's really uh, you know like his terroir, the way he handles and treats things, and the place in itself it gives them a very, very particular character. So I'm, I'm going to leave my brush here now and give it a kind of a first swirl. So this has been hanging now for an hour and a half, and it's actually already cooked, and it's gone much, much faster than I expected it to. So we're gonna take it down from here, and then um, bring the little sauce with us, and just carve it. So this smells so good right now. Like, it smells of Mr. Duck, Peter's place. It smells of, like, cooked bird and it smells very kind of sweet and savory of the glaze, which has reduced down. It looks very good, like really nice and juicy and nice and golden and crispy on the outside. I think that next time we do this, we're going to uh, do it slower, like over lower heat and for a longer time. Because it went so quickly today. So it's, this is like uh, the kind of 
feeling of an ordinary roast bird, but I would like it to be like the fat to be more rendered down and uh, the meat to be not kind of pinkish, but more braised actually. I think that's gonna be really nice. And this is like really good duck, very, very strong tasting. Nice and compact, but not tough. Fatty, crispy, and like sweet, salty, and very savory, and like sort of dark tasting. So this, it's not at all perfect, but it's a very, very good sort of step towards the dish, and it's very delicious.